Hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland and this is Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. I hope you're well and in this recording I think it'd be quite nice to just do a bit of a body scan. So please make yourself comfortable either sitting in a comfortable chair that supports your body in the event of you falling asleep or maybe laying down on your bed. Now, a warning, if you do lay down on your bed, there's a much higher percentage chance that you will fall asleep. Now, I know some people will be listening to this for that particular reason, but also other people will be listening just to relax. So if you have got something you need to do, you know, something you need to, somewhere you need to be in a couple of hours or something, then I suggest you set your alarm to make sure that you're awake because you may fall asleep. Partly, I guess if you're lying down, it's not even necessarily to do with my boring voice or what I'm <laughs> saying. It's just, we associate lying in our bed with sleep. Because it's something we've done since we were babies. So it's that association. And as you listen to my voice, your mind will just, I guess, naturally start to drift. And as your body relaxes, your mind slows down. So there's less activity. You'll have your eyes closed, so there's no visual stimuli. You'll pretty much just be sitting or lying there. So there's not much physical stimuli as far as touching things or as you would get if you were walking around or holding things or, you know, movement, physical movement. Of course, you've got the physical sensations of parts of your body relaxing. And that mental feeling, the, the emotional feeling of letting go. But it's a different physical feeling and it's to what you would normally have if you were sort of going about your daily business. There's not much in the way of auditory stimulation either because it's just my voice. And maybe music in the background if you're listening to a version with the music. There's always a chance there may be some other background sounds, either my end or yours. I mean, there's a pigeon that lives outside that, I guess most, <laughs> most pigeons live outside, don't they? They don't generally have their own cottages. But you might have sounds where you are. There may be cars going by. There may be a helicopter goes by. Maybe you've got other people in the house. Maybe you've got children watching television or playing in a different room. But none of that stuff really affects you as you relax. It's almost as if those background sounds are no more than the sound of your own breathing. And although we can hear our own breathing, we don't really notice it. You might be noticing it now because I mentioned it. And that's another thing I quite like. I don't generally focus on breathing itself during my recordings. And I know that a lot of people do. 
you got to do like take some deep breaths and stuff like that. The reason why I don't generally focus on the breath is so that I can reach a larger audience in a sense of if someone has got uh, some kind of lung issue, whether it's asthma, COPD, uh, various different things where breathing, you don't really want to be concentrating on your breath necessarily. People also that have anxiety. I learned this myself when I was, was nearly 20 years ago now, when I took up meditation and I found that focusing on my breath, which is part of the meditative practice, was difficult because that sometimes used to send me into um, almost like hyperventilation in a way because maybe I was breathing too quick well I guess I would have had to have been breathing too <laughs> too quickly to hyperventilate and to try and control it to slow it down I can do that now but it took me a long time to learn it so I generally don't concentrate on the breath although what I do notice is even without concentrating on the breathing and just focusing maybe on how you physically feel whether it's comfortable or not it can cause relaxation because when you're in a relaxed state of mind even physical pain can reduce It's almost as if that part of your your brain that produces that f discomfort gets switched off because your mind has stopped caring about it, stopped worrying about it, which has given that signal to your brain stimulate that part of the brain to switch off so that you feel more comfort and now another thing that I really like is something I've noticed is my breathing is almost at its best when I'm relaxed just so smooth and natural without any effort I mean for this face it we're gonna breathe anyway so when you just allow it allow your body just to do its own thing really gently relaxed Breathing seems to feel calmer and more relaxed. Just, just seems to be that way. So I've just spent six minutes telling you how I don't talk about breathing, which is a bit ironic, maybe. But it's the same with the muscles. You can tense the muscles and then let them go. That's a technique to relax your muscles. But your muscles can relax just as deeply just by allowing them to. Sometimes just by not doing anything. Maybe, again, it's when your mind is no longer bothered by your environment. No longer worried about what's going to happen in the future and 
not concerned or regretful about the past. I'm not talking about you know, generally in your life, but just in this moment where you take a break, you let go of everything. And you don't care about anything because you don't need to. Which then seems to stimulate the part of your brain that sends those signals down your spinal cord into all your muscles to just relax. And it's a special feeling. It's a special feeling when you've decided by listening to this recording that you're going to relax. You're not going to be listening to this whilst play, playing video games or whilst horse riding or climbing a mountain. You know, things that need your attention. You wouldn't listen to this whilst doing that. So that intention that you have when you press the play button on this and my other recordings is a signal to your nervous system to relax. It's a signal that it's time to just let go of everything and that nothing matters. Even the things that really, really, really do matter to you. You can let go of those just for now. But you have to give yourself permission to do that. We've all got things that are really important to us. And we're not going to let them go. You know, in generally. But we can just release them for a short period of time. which allows you to really fully relax, allows your mind to slow down to the point where it's almost as if it's just switched off. It's on automatic, which is kind of how our minds are, seem to be anyway, a lot of the time. But having slowed right down without any thinking required, giving yourself permission to really let go, to genuinely let go of everything. Because anything that's important or needs your attention will be there afterwards. So you can just let go completely. Really, really abandon all thoughts, even those thoughts that you enjoy, you can just let them go, you don't need them at the moment. And when that happens, and as that happens, your body becomes even more relaxed. that that circle occurs the more relaxed your body becomes the more relaxed your mind becomes and you know what I'm going to say next the more relaxed your mind becomes the more relaxed your body becomes and so on and you 
and just notice your body now. Notice how your eyes feel, your jaw, your neck, the back of your neck, your throat. Noticing how your shoulders feel, your chest and your stomach. Your arms, hands and fingers. Your midsection, you know, the hips, the tops of your thighs, your groin, your buttocks. Noticing how your spine feels all the way from your neck, all the way down to the bottom of your back. Noticing your legs, your feet and your toes. And you can sometimes feel almost as if, you know, your body's not even there. You know it's there, but it's almost as if it's not. Almost as if you're just observing yourself. Enjoying, feeling that level of comfort that keeps increasing. For no real reason other than you welcome, feeling relaxed. You've opened your arms your hands and your heart to this feeling of comfort and you've given yourself permission to not only experience this deep level of comfort and relaxation in all of the parts of your body and mind. It's now a part of you. It's a feeling that can be remembered. It's a feeling that can be experienced whenever you choose. I'd like you to think of an image, an image of something that you really cherish. It could be a loved one, it could be a grandchild, a child, a grandparent, maybe a pet, maybe it's uh, an image of a holiday destination that you've been to. Maybe it's your car or your motorbike. It doesn't matter. Something that has a really positive effect when you think about that image, when you focus on it. And as you focus on that image now, I'm going to count down from 10 to 1. And all of these feelings are going to soak into that image. All these feelings of relaxation. All these feelings of comfort are going to be soaked into that image. And as they soak into that image, you will almost feel that your body is becoming even more relaxed, even more comfortable because as I count down from 10 to 1, as
as the relaxing feelings get drawn and soaked into that image, that pleasant image. Your body will become even more relaxed and your mind calmer and more peaceful. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Every time you think of that image, you will be able to experience all of this comfort and deep relaxation. Yet you'll also be able to focus on what you're doing as well. So you can think of that image whenever you want and instantly feel so relaxed, physically and emotionally. So calm and peaceful. Nothing to do, nothing to think about. As you relax even deeper, relax even deeper. 